All right, today we're going to be working. Now you're going to have to excuse my voice. I've had a an asthmatic problem uh, the last few days, and uh, I'm hoarse, and <clears throat> so you're just going to have to excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, today we're going to be working from Mike Shipley's book, Carving Country Characters, and this is a fun book. It really is. It's a wonderful little book, and. Uh, it's uh, hillbillies and dogs and stuff like that. As you can see, uh, it's just full of wonderful patterns and uh, figures. It's called Carving Country Characters, or Country Folk, excuse me. And there's 12 projects in it. And if you don't have this book in your library, be sure and get it, because I'll tell you what, it's... Uh, it's a wonderful book. I'll tell you what, wonderful characters to carve. Mike uh, shows you how to carve uh, one of them from step by step in the painting and everything like that. And uh, just fantastic, I'll tell you what. Great, great book. Now, uh, the character we're going to carve today is this little character. Uh, this is called uh, Frank, and he's got a hunt rifle with him. And I like this little character, I really do. Now, we're not going to carve it exactly as Mike would carve it, but we're going to carve it very similar. But we're taking it from its pattern right here. And I always cut out the side view and work from there. This is about a two inch piece across here. Two inches across here and this is I think a one and a, a quarter or one and a half, something like that. But you're working from a two inch thick piece. And I always cut out the side and work from there. A lot of people cut out from the middle piece, excuse me, the front section also, which reduces a lot of wood. But once again, uh, I prefer to do it uh, in a way that I like to. And so what I did is I traced out this side piece here and uh, cut it out. And here he is. And I do cut between the legs. And this is my starting point right here. Now I could have cut out the side, I just didn't do it. I go ahead and use my knife to uh, get away the wood and then in case I want to do a little something different or add something. But this is a great little project. That's where the beard comes down, right in this area. It's a great little project. We're going to do it. And like I said, if you don't have this book, Wood Carving Country Folk, please get it. I'm going to tell you something. These are some fine little characters to do. Uh, I love hillbilly characters, always have. And they've got the women. They've got the men. they got a little, little boy here. And Arlo, and it's just outhouse. Even got to where you can make the outhouse and the granny. and Just a great book. So... Be sure and look for this for your uh, library. You know, you can get it from Mike himself at Ozark Country Characters. Fantastic, I'll tell you what, I love his books. Okay, well here's another addition we're going to be using today. Mike has sent me one of his new knives. And let me get my old knife. Here is the Ron Wells knife, and here's Mike's new version of the carving knife. The handle's a little bit shorter, much thicker, feels real good in, in your hand, and as you can see, the blade is a little bit thinner. Still got that fine uh, pairing look that... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Ron Wells has, of course, 
but we're going to carve with this one today show you how this new knife works now I got this is the larger version of it right here see the longer version this is the uh, uh, one and three eighths inch blade just like this one see it's a little bit shorter that doesn't matter and the blade is just a little bit longer but not much and we're going to use this knife today to carve the figure and it's a good looking knife I'm going to tell you something uh, real good looking I'll tell you what look in the uh, get you one of these too I'll tell you what I we're going to we're going to use it today and uh, okay that is a good looking knife though I have to admit it's um, still got that thin blade, that thin flat plane blade on it. <coughs> Y'all have to excuse me, I'm sorry. And um, see, see how it cuts? Oh yeah. Look at that. Yes sir. -y. Okay. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off. Let's just go ahead and take a little bit off in this area. Now, first of all, what we want to do, we want to come up here on the hat. We want to take that wood away. Still got that good point on it, like a, like the old Ron Wells. I'll tell you what, and that's that's what I use a whole whole lot. I use that real fine point. I haven't had a chance to strop this knife yet. Look at that. I tell you what, that's a, that's a fine cutting instrument. We're slowly separating the hat from the head. I like to work up in the head section. All right, slowly bringing that up in there, just like that. This is a nice pattern, I'll tell you what. Mike's characters are just wonderful, I'll tell you. 